Hi there, my name is Marina, and I'm a tutor at MCAT Mastery, and I'm here to share with you my journey through the MCAT. So I started studying for it during the summer of 2020 because everything went virtual due to the pandemic, and I had nothing else better to do. I watched a bunch of Khan Academy videos and did their questions afterwards, but I realized I wasn't really understanding or being able to apply what I did. To solve new problems that are actually similar to the MCAT, I was forgetting the things I learned from the videos very quickly. So that was my biggest struggle. How do I actually understand things and use them to apply to actual questions? Looking back, I wish that I purchased the one-year subscription to U World so I could have started doing problems early on. This way, I can hone in on all the content that I was learning. In January of 2021, I actually started doing more problems that are similar to the MCAT. I purchased the entire bundle of the AMC and was doing a few questions a day because I was also taking classes and juggling with other extracurriculars. I think that it's important that you do something every day.、It、doesn't have to be a lot of things, but as long as you have that consistency, you're gonna get better over time. I was also using the Kaplan content book during that time. I was flipping through the pages, highlighting, circling all the things that I thought was important, and then I did the questions after each chapter. But the same thing happened with Khan Academy. I don't remember anything I learned after I finish each chapter. I think the content book was way too detailed for the MCAT, so I started doing content review by doing questions from AMC first, and then seeing which areas I need more review on. This way, my review became more targeted instead of very spread out and not specific enough. Doing reviews on things that I didn't feel confident from, I found that my speed was getting. A lot better, and I was able to apply the knowledge I learned. I also took my first full-length practice exam in January of 2021, and it took me a few days to finish it because it was so long. And after each section, I felt like I can't do it anymore. I'm just exhausted. So I think it is totally okay to feel exhausted doing practice problems, but over time, you're gonna build up that stamina, as it had worked out for me. Since I was a biochemistry major in college, I didn't take a lot of psychology or sociology class, so I had to memorize all. Of those terms for the psych so section, what I did was using a flashcard service called Mem M E M M. It is very similar to Anki, but it is a lot more organized, and they have very detailed sheets of reviewing for each content area you want to work on. For example, I just wanted to study genetics today. I can go to that section, look at the important terms, and then do the flashcards there. I think doing all of the flashcards in Mem helped me get my psych Social score to above 130 in the end. During the last two months before my exam in June of 2021, I was studying for six to seven hours a day because I no longer had classwork to worry about. But during the time when I'm studying, I make sure I stay very focused. I do not look at my phone, do not go on social media or any sort of things. So this way, I can get as much done as possible during the limited amount of time. During those two months, I mostly did AMC and U World practice problems every day. I also did one full length every weekend. I mimic the condition very closely. Like I have to get up at six or seven a.m. and then I even. Wore a mask during the time I was taking the exam because during that time mask was still required. So I think it's very important that you try to do everything just like the exam day, so there won't be any surprises or anything to stress you out. I wasn't increasing my score linearly as I. Wanted it to, and it was frustrating. But that's okay. You will have ups and downs as long as you keep working hard. I spent a lot of time after each full-length exam reviewing all the questions I missed. I sometimes would write them down on a notebook if I see the same kind of mistakes happening over and over again. I think it's very important that you make sure to avoid mistakes you make and try to learn as much from your mistake as possible. Another thing I really struggled with during the MCAT was reading. So I am not a native speaker of English, as you can tell from the way I'm speaking. So it was very hard for me to read very fast, and I wasn't able to do very well on cars because of that. Looking back, I wish I had done practices a lot early on and 
really stayed consistent with doing one course or passages every day to get my reading speed up. But when I took the MCAT in June 2021, I was still able to get a good enough score. So I scored a total of 518, 130 in ChemPhys, 127 in CARS, 131 in Bio Biochem, and 130 on Psych Soch. I'm incredibly proud of what I accomplished, and I know that this journey was very difficult for me emotionally and physically. That's why I decided to join MCAT Mastery to help you guys on the same path. So I want you to know that you can do this. Okay, this is very challenging. You have to learn so much, but as long as you keep working hard at it, you will end up getting what you want and you will become a doctor. So far, I have helped many students like yourself get through all the things they struggle with during the MCAT and getting to their dream scores. I would love to work with you to achieve the score you want. So if you're interested, please sign up for the free MCAT Mastery emails to learn about strategies, as well as watching our videos or signing up for individualized tutoring through MCAT Mastery. I look forward to working with you guys and sharing more tips along my journey to the MCAT.